All right, so today um, I've got a, it's a little Nissan four-cylinder for you four-cylinder buffs. But uh, a couple things on this I thought were of note. The, uh, the customer overheated the engine and uh, cracked the cylinder head. Got pretty hot. The cylinder head's aluminum, and it was the cylinder head was junk, of course. But one of the things that uh, I discovered, first of all, you can see I've got a straight edge on here. Anytime that an engine is severely overheated, it's pretty important that we check the surfaces for any kind of warpage or distortion or anything of that sorts. And Obviously, you can see where this is leading. So this this head is set up on the milling machine. Apparently, I'm not happy with the bore. <laughs> so we actually did have to put a sleeve in this block, not because it was damaged or anything, but um, the number the number three cylinder here. I guess it sat with water in it for a long time, and it had some some pretty deep rust pits, and so. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we actually pressed a sleeve in here. That's another reason for wanting to mill this block, but that's not the the main reason. I mean, I, I've put sleeves in lots of times, and I can pretty much cut them and finish them to the, to the deck, and it's not really a problem. Uh, but we checked this block, which is something you should always do in an overheating situation, with a straight edge. Now, this is not just a random piece of steel here. This is a precision straight edge. And what we discovered is I noticed around the three and four cylinder here where we actually had a lot of the water. I had my my filler gauge is sliding fairly easily. I'm not putting a lot of tension on this. It's sliding fairly easily underneath the straight edge there. And this is a four thousandths feeler gauge. Well, that's an awful lot of warpage you really shouldn't have any warpage here on the block. So it's it's obvious to me. Now it didn't go in anywhere else. If you if we all these other spots that we checked it was fine. It went in between three and four and the other thing that is of note is if if you look at this closely, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but we saw I see some signs of leakage here past the gasket and some pitting around the cylinders here. And this is the area where the head gasket was blown the worst, and of course the cylinder had, cylinders had all the water in it. So it stands to reason that the, the block got distorted there, and so we're going to go ahead and mill this block. Also, when you check warpage, I mean, that's, that's, there's, this is not a gray area here. That's obvious. It's just so blatantly obvious. If you look on the other side, we got a warped block here. Now it's not excessively warped because I stuck a 5,000th blade in there and the 5,000th doesn't go. So it's not distortion that's going to you know, cause the block to have to be thrown away or anything of that nature. But it is to the point where we're definitely going to have to resurface this block, which is what we've got this set up to do now. Also when you check warpage, you should go in a diagonal position like this and check between all of these diagonally. And you see we can this is kind of starting to go in here a little bit diagonally which is not surprising you want to go diagonal in that direction and you also want to go diagonal in the other direction what that does is that tells you if the if the block if the block surface is twisted with the straight edge straight across in this manner like this you could theoretically pick up no warpage here at all if the block is twisted you could pick up warpage going this way and of course that would mean that the block is twisted from one side to the other so very important that you check this and of course we're going to go ahead and mill this block because we are definitely not wanting to give this back to the customer with any kind of warpage because then of course you're going to have head gasket leakage. I mean you could do everything else right. You could put a new cylinder head on here and refinish the cylinders and sleeve the block and just skip this one step. It seems real simple. Uh, and the head would leak. You'd have 
you'd have a warranty problem. So we don't want to have any kind of warranty with the customer, and plus we don't want the customer to have to go through any kind of, you know, having to take the motor out again and all of that hassle. So it's very important that block warp, which a lot of people overlook the block, they check the head and they're like, oh my gosh, the head's warped, let's get it built, throw it back on there. Even if the motor's in the car, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get a straight edge. Now remember, it's not just a, it's not a yardstick. <laughs> it's a, it's a precision, precision straight edge. And so this is a little Z24 Nissan out of a Nissan pickup. Pretty, pretty good little motor actually. And uh, we're going to go ahead and mill this block. So for those of you that are interested, I'll, I'll set the camera up and I'll videotape the, the milling of this block. And uh, so there you have it. Make sure you check for warpage.